Extraordinary culinary chef Stephanie Eisard shows no signs of slowing down. She is the first female top chef winner, a James Beard Award recipient, and now she has opened her sixth restaurant, Cabra Los Angeles. And the chef joining us live. She's got details on this new Peruvian inspired restaurant. It's above the Hoxton downtown LA. Welcome, chef. All right, so we know. Hi, uh, how are you? Hi, we know your first location is in Chicago and then your second location. We're glad you're here in LA. <laughs> Why'd you pick us? You know, we were opening Girl on the Goat here in Los Angeles and there's a Hoxton Hotel and my partners have teamed up with the Hoxton to do food and beverage at a, a few of the locations. We love it so much in Chicago and the food on the rooftop in Chicago has always felt like we're somewhere warm and sunny like it is today. Mm -hmm. um, so I just thought it'd be a really great fit here in LA. And obviously this restaurant has amazing views of our city, uh, but also some bright and bold dining experiences that guests can enjoy. Let's, let's talk about that and how you guys designed it. Sure. So yeah, I mean, the rooftop is beautiful. I'm sitting up here right now looking out oh, so at nice. downtown and when the sun is setting, it's the most beautiful time of day. Um, but I have some of the food in front of me that really represents the sort of feel that you get when you travel to Peru. I've been to Lima and I think my whole time there just seeing the sort of sunshine that the food brings, that the people bring just the vibrancy and we really want to showcase that in the food. Um, so anything from, I have our simple avocado dip here that's really bright, a lot of lime juice and everything. We have our tuna tiradito, I'm um, showcasing tiraditos and ceviches to really highlight the raw fish, really bright flavors of Peruvian cuisine. Um, and then also in front of me, I have our big pork shank. So it's a, uh, a deep fried pork shank, which is um, chicharron, uh, really showcasing the fattiness, yumminess with some fun little bright salads on the side. You get to mix and match with some flatbread and different sauces. So lots of interactive, bright, fun dining to have along with some fun cocktails. It's good times. Yeah, the colors are amazing. Colorful food and cocktails sounds great. Uh, what's so special about that avocado dip? <laughs> we got our eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> so avocado dip, I know, right? And I'm sitting, I've been trying not to eat this for the past 10 minutes. Um, the avocado dip, different than a guacamole in that it's blended with a little bit of a mayonnaise and cream cheese, so it's super <sighs> creamy. Okay. And it has a yuzu tomato on top, yuzu a Japanese citrus, so it's mm -hmm. super bright and refreshing. All right, and you've mentioned the chicharron and then also the tuna tiradito. Is that mm -hmm. how you say it? How do you say it? Tiradito? Yeah, tiradito. So in Yay. Peru, there's ceviches, which are diced fish with a little bit of a lecho de tigre, a nice bright lime juice over the top. And then tiradito is when it's sliced. So we have a tuna tiradito here. It has a serrano cilantro sauce that's a little spicy, a little herbaceous, a really bright passion fruit drizzled on top, and a little crunch from some jicama. So everything has just the right amount of textures and brightness and flavor, yeah, and beautiful to look at too. I love how excited you are about all your dishes. <laughs> what about the salmon? I, uh, <laughs> it's good. Sure. It's, yeah, it's like I know because I've it. literally been sitting here like I'm really hungry. It's like I need my early lunch. You can um, eat, eat while then, you're doing the salmon segment. Um, then I'll have it all in my teeth. They're like, what's happening there? Um, but the salmon and chicucho. So this one um, we don't have in Chicago just here. We take our Aura King salmon, which is the fattiest, most delicious, richest salmon that you can find, served over a little bit of a sweet soy mayo with a little drizzle on top. And then on top of it for the crunch, I love texture, is furikake. It's basically a rice topping in Japanese cuisine. A lot of Japanese influence in Peruvian cuisine. So we put that on top for some texture. Um, it's just rich, bright, yummy, tasty. And then... Uh you know, we're gonna have all this great food. We need some craft cocktails and you guys are experts at it apparently. Oh, we do, um, you know, in our time in Peru, I kept saying to myself every day, I'm not gonna have a pisco sour today. I'm not gonna, but you do every <laughs> single day because they're everywhere and they're delicious. All of that bright citrus. What's great about LA is the citrus here is just as lovely as mm -hmm. in Peru. So we're really able to showcase that. So the pisco sour here, absolutely delicious. Um, the uh, ooh, uh, Le Morne Jus Glad. Uh, it's a little joke, Le Morne Jus Glad. I didn't say banana. I guess our <laughs> manager thinks it's hilarious, but um, it's so tasty. I had one the other night to celebrate our opening. It's got mezcal and just a little bit of our house hot sauce with ahi amarillos. So it's like a shout out to a spicy margarita to, to compare it to something, but um, that little bit of kick with the mezcal, it's always delicious. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you Love for sharing everything. I'd love yeah. to come visit. Yeah. And now you can eat. Yeah, eat why for, uh, and by the way, eat for questions. us. We yeah. want uh, specifically the chips and the, the avocado, avocado, dip, avocado right? We're all about it. <laughs>
Hello. Thank you, Chef. Thank Once you. Again, Cabra, Los Thank Angeles. You. It is now open above the Hoxton, downtown LA. For all the information and to get a reservation, just visit CabraLosAngeles.com or you can follow them on Instagram. Again, our thanks to the chef. And what a beautiful day for her to do that segment outside. The oh. sun is finally back and you can feel a little bit of that warm weather coming back, Kai. Yeah, it is a stunning day. Yeah. Right, we, we saw right between Lou and Sandra that was downtown.